Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a DIY repair on this Windy Nation 100 watt flexible solar panel. One of my leads broke off so I removed the whole connector unit. I went ahead and remounted the connector part onto the frame I built. Having this mounted here provides for much more stability for the connector and its wires. To get to the leads on the solar panel, you have to pick away at the plastic that's completely covering the entire solar panel as protection. I'm going to use the cover of the connector and drill two holes in it so I can run the positive and negative wires out of the connector and head over to those leads on the solar panel. For a snug connection, I'm using 5 16 grommets to go in between the holes here. I'm using 12 all wire gauge silicon wire. It's really flexible and easy to work with. I went ahead and added some extra solder to the inside of the connector for the positive and negative. Some of the connectors inside were a little loose. Having a little extra solder is good because I want to connect onto the new wires. Next I went ahead and dry fit the cover onto the connector just to make sure everything was going to fit before going ahead and soldering up those wires. Here's a close up of me tinning the wires in preparation for soldering onto the connectors. Soldering the positive and negative wires onto the connector was pretty easy to do once I had those wires tinned and had extra solder on the actual unit. Just to note, the original leads go through the bottom of the connector. Those have been removed and insulated with liquid tape. As for the solar panel, it's pretty much the same process. I added solder and tinned up the lead connectors on the panel, as well as the wires that we're going to connect to the leads. And then I went ahead and connected my wires onto the leads of the panel. Using a small brush, I added liquid tape for insulation to each wire and connector. It takes a few hours for this to dry. Once that's done, I went ahead to the next step of the process. I'm using this DAP silicon here to add additional weatherproofing as well as rigidity to the connections. This will help tighten everything up. It's the following day and the silicon is set up here. Everything is nice and snug and tight and has been strengthened by using this. I'm pretty happy with the results. Mounting the connector onto the frame provides a lot more strength and stability for those wires. You can pull on them and they won't move. This was the uh, problem with the original panel. Once you pulled on those wires, they would pull against the connector and that connector was mounted directly on the panel. So this is a much better setup here, moving that connector over to the frame. Now we're pulling about 20 volts open circuit here on a partly cloudy day. Everything is working perfect with the new connections. Very happy with this nice little DIY project to repair this solar panel. Now with just being a few feet away and using white silicon, it's really hard to tell where the connections are. All right, so that's pretty much it here. DIY repair on my 12 volt flexible solar panel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.